Hi, welcome to You Can Manage It, Prevent Diabetes from Controlling Your Life. The goal of this program is to empower people living with diabetes to reduce the risk of complications and enhance their quality of life. There's a famous quote that says the person uh, with diabetes who knows the most is the one that lives the longest. And it is very, very true. Uh, people with diabetes uh, have a greater risk of complications, but all of these complications are highly preventable if you take action early on. I hope that you join us for a class on campus to have a deep dive on the evidence-based guidelines to help support diabetes care. Um, and today's session is just going to do an overview and show you where you can access more of this information. Um, the most important thing is that if you have diabetes, you must have a diabetes care plan. And there's multiple components to this plan that could be reviewed and access to the resources that we'll have available to you. So there are four critical times in which a person that has diabetes needs to see a diabetes educator. That would be a nurse or a dietitian. It is when you're newly diagnosed, when uh, you have your yearly checkups, when a new challenge comes around. That will be a financial a move or any other family dynamic change that could affect your diabetes care plan. And also when there are, there are changes in your health care. That is if you're changing your primary care doctor or if you're seeking a specialist or you're changing health insurance. So having a diabetes care plan has a lot of benefits. Uh, most of all, it keeps you in control of your healthcare needs and how that matches with your personal life. So a diabetes care plan should be tailored with your physician, but also considering your healthcare team. is usually going to have different components. One is going to be regarding what you're eating or your meal plan. It has exercise and what's safe for you and your guidelines that should be appropriate according to your needs. Mm -hmm. uh, monitoring, it is very important to know what to monitor and how to interpret those numbers. So not just your blood sugars, but maybe your blood pressure, your weight, or other things that you're working on. Uh, another one is medication adherence. This is simple, but it's probably the most common uh, mistake that we make is not taking medications as prescribed. So looping in your pharmacist and being very clear when and how to take medications and remembering every day is very important. Problem solving, what do I do if I'm sick? What do I do if I forgot my medication? Uh, another component is coping skills, you know, life, uh, changes and making sure that when you are emotionally or physically uh, struggling, you need to have a plan to properly cope because stress on its own will affect your body and tend to raise blood pressure and raise blood sugars. And most important of all the components is risk reduction. What do you need to do today to hopefully reduce your risk of complications in the future? Make sure to check out the St. Luke's Diabetes Care Pathway. It has a summary of all of the evidence-based guidelines and some good numbers to reference to help you judge your care and a lot of resources that we have available on campus. Uh, the Nutritional Wellness Center uh, offers diabetes self-management and weight management options. Therapy Services has a wonderful diabetes exercise program. We have smoking cessation. We also offer community screenings for cholesterol and A1C, along with many, many, many uh, classes that can help you take better control of your health. Don't hesitate to come on campus or give us a call if you need more of our support. We're here to help you because our specialty is you.